So I'm repeating again. First, I'm going to sweep VGG for the simulation of SP1. And this is my start point, VGG 0.5 up to 2 with the steps of 0.1. And second one, I'm using sweep 2, basically this one, as you see. But I am sweeping uh, my VDD this time. Uh, if you little bit play around with this sweep, you will understand wh what I mean. Because uh, here you just have to do uh, 2D sweep uh, for this. Uh, and you have to use this setup. So uh, don't forget you have to make exactly same thing. Use the quotation mark. If you don't use quotation mark, it's not going to work. So this is my setup. Let's do simulation. But now we are missing something. We have to add this before doing simulation. So I'm talking about these two, uh, mu factor and our max gain. How you can find them, you can go to simulation as para. And here, this is our uh, uh, stability. So we are going to check uh, with uh, mu factor and uh, max gain is you can also choose from this menu. So I'm going to erase this. I just wanted to show you. Because if you don't have these tools here, if you don't add them in your schematic, you won't be able to see uh, the max gain. It's basically, the max gain option is not going to appear um, in the simulation result and mu as well. But for a uh, no minimum noise figure, NF min, you don't have to use any of this. It's, it's actually automatically included in this parameter simulation. So here uh, I'm going to draw some counters because we have 2D sweep. So you have to uh, pick your equation. I have this one. So you have to write this equation. I'm going to explain this. VDD for noise figure, uh, let's say NF min noise figure. Uh, so this is my contour. This is gonna uh, draw me, a, give me a contour basically for my sweep. And here I have my NF mean. This is a this is kind of trick you have to do in uh, in ADS NF mean. You have to write like this because uh, if you check uh, your NF mean, let's let's check the info. So NF mean uh, info here says VD the VGG freak. It's like a, this is like a, a matrix. So it, it doesn't have only VDD, VGG, it also has the, the frequency, you can understand this. This is a trick, I'm going to put the zero. It doesn't mean that my frequency is zero. This is just a trick to in order to make it work. And you have to do this, you will see. If you make it something else, it's not going to work. And this is my sweep. So uh, it's going to basically sweep, uh, it's going to show me the noise minimum noise figure from 1 to 5 with steps of 0.1. Let me continue and you're going to see uh, what, what what actually what do I mean. So first of all, uh, in order to define this range, you see there is a range from one, 1 to 5, but you don't have any idea what is my uh, noise figure range and minimum noise figure. So basically it's very easy. You can just uh, uh, draw your, you can just get your NF min, add OK. So this is the idea, as you see, it shows the different kind of NF min for different values. Just click once on this and make this uh, VGG. So this is what we have. So as you see, the minimum value for uh, this noise figure is uh, something 0 0.08 and this is 0 0.18 dB. So that's why uh, here I, I'm going to uh, change my range, let's say from um, 0 0.08 to the max value, 18. 0.80 and I will make the 0. Point maybe 01. So once this is black, it means that uh, it's working uh, fine. So now you just have to get a rectangular plot and go to your equations from this part and choose this equation. So as you see, you have some uh, some contours here. I swept the uh, VDD from 1 to 2. You can decrease it. Let, let me decrease and sweep it 1. So here, as you see, this is from 0 0.5. Let's make it 0 0.5 as well. So for VDD sweep is from 0 0.5 to uh, 2. Okay, so this, this is very nice figure. It gives me a very good idea. As you see, these are contours. And how you can understand what is the, the value of your noise figure? Uh, I'm just trying to explain this because this is a little bit confusing. So this axis is your VDD. That's why I define my formula like this. 
So this shows my VDD. As you see, I swept it from 0 0.4 to 2. And this is showing my VGG. This is from 0 0.4 to 2. Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to subscribe. You can learn about this topic and more using our website. The complete course on this topic is provided on our website at www.rahsoft.com. Rahsoft is providing a complete certificate on radio frequency. The courses are complete step-by-step -step approach with quiz and examples and certificate of completion will be provided upon finishing each course. By taking the required courses in RF system and IC design with past status, Rasoft would provide the Rasoft radio frequency certificate. Thank you. See you soon.